This video will cover beginner part 1 questions regarding the topic of geometric sequences and series. This is the first question. It is the May 2011 SL Paper 1 studies question. U7 equals 108. U8 equals 36. Number A, the common ratio R equals U8 over U7 equals 36 over 100A equals 1 over 3. Number B, general term UN equals U1 times R to the power of N minus 1. So U8 equals U1 times 1 over 3 to the power of N minus 1, which is a 7, equals 36. So U1 equals 78,732 SN equals U1 times 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R so 118,096 equals 78,732 times 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of K over 1 minus 1 over 3 equals 118,096 equals this part make 11898 times 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power of k when the two graphs cross each other it is very difficult to find intersection while adjusting the window it is much easier to find zero by making it into a single graph like this. So k equals 10. This is the May 2009 SL paper to study this question. Number 4a u2 equals 12. Use the general term u2 equals u1 times r equals 12. U5 equals 324, so U5 equals U1 times R to the power of 4, which is 324. Use these two. U1 R to the power of 4 divided by U1 R equals 324 divided by 12, the cancelled. Then U cubed equals 27. Then R equals 3. Number B, U10 equals U1 times R to the power of 9. In here, R equals 3. Put in here. Then U1 times 3 equals 12. That means U1 equals 4. So U1 equals 4 times 3 to the power of 9, which is 78,000. 732. Number C. UK is greater than 2000. UK equals 4 times 3 to the power of K minus 1 is greater than 2000. Then divide by 4 on each side. 3 to the power of K minus 1 is greater than 500. If K equals 6, 3 to the power of 6 minus 1, which is 5, equals 243, is less than 500. It's not answer. If k equals 7, 3 to the power of 6 equals 729, which is greater than 500. Therefore, k equals 7. This is the November 2005 SL Paper 1 Methods question. U1 equals 18, then U3 equals 8. Use the general form. U3 equals U1 times R squared equals 8. Then U1 equals 18 times R squared equals 8. Then divide by 18 on each side r squared equals 8 over 18, which is 4 over 9. 
So R equals plus minus 2 over 3. Use the formula as infinity equals u1 over 1 minus r. First, if r equal 2 over 3, then s infinity equals 18 over 1 minus 2 over 3 equals 18 over 1 over 3, which is 54. Second, if r equals minus 2 over 3, s infinity equals 18 over 1 minus minus 2 over 3 equals 18 over 5 over 3, which is 18 times 3 over 5. The final answer is 54 over 5. This is the May 2004 HL paper 1 question. The sum of the first two terms is 6. So u1 plus u2 equals 6, u1 equals u1, then u2 equals u1r equals 6, then take out u1, we can factor 1 plus r equals 6, then u1 equals 6 over 1 plus r. The sum to infinity is 8, so u1 over 1 minus r equals 8, then cross multiply, u1 equals 8 times 1 minus r. With these two, u over 1 plus r equals 8 times 1 minus r, we can rewrite as 6 over 8 equals 1 minus r times 1 plus r. The simplified, then 3 over 4 equals 1 minus r squared, r squared equals 1 over 4, r equals 1 over 2 or minus 1 over 2, but the negative common ratio, only negative is the answer. Then use this one, u1 equals 8 times 1 minus minus 1 over 2, 8 times make positive 3 over 2, 2 times 1, 2 times 4, which is 12. This is the November 2011 paper 2 question. Number A, for the series to have a finite sum, the absolute value of 2x over x plus 1, which is the common ratio, is less than 1. Use the graphic calculator. The finite sum exists when x is greater than 1 over 3, less than 1. Number b, s infinity equals u1 over 1 minus r, so s infinity equals u1 is 2x over x plus 1 over 1 minus 2x over x plus 1, so times x plus 1 on each side. The first one is 2x over expand x plus 1 minus the second one, cancel each other, then 2x. So 2x over 1 minus x. This is the May 2008 SL paper 2 question. Number 1a the common ratio R equals U2 over U1 minus 1800 over 1300. So cancel, 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 cancel. Then minus 6 over 10, which is minus 0 0.6. Number B, UN equals U1 times R to the power of N minus 1. So U10 equals u1, which is 3000, times minus 0 0.6 to the power of 9. The answer is minus 30.2. Number C, s equals u1 over 1 minus r. So s equals 3000 over 1 minus minus 0 0.6 
equals 3000 over 1.6 which is 1875 this is the May 2009 essay paper 2 question number A the general term is un equals u1 times r to the power of n minus 1 so u4 equals u1 times r to the power of 3 u4 equals 1 over 3 u1 equals 1 over 81 times r cubed then times 81 each side 27 equals r cubed so r equals 3 number b sn equals u1 times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 so 1 over 81 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 over 3 minus 1 is greater than 40 this one is 2 so times 2 on each side which is 80 so 1 over 81 times 3 to the power of n minus 1 is greater than 80 then times 81 each side then this number is 6480 then 3 to the power of n is greater than 6481 use the graphics calculator n is greater than 7.9888 something so n equals 8 or you can use log 3 to the power of n is greater than 6481 then n is greater than log 3 of 6481 n is greater than 7.98888 answer is 8 we have the same answer this is the May 2009 SL paper 2 question number A sigma r equals 4 to 7 to the power of r equals 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 6 to the power of 7 number B1 we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 5 and 6 until 2 to the power of 30 so number 1 u1 equals 2 to the power of 4 which is 16 then r equals 2 then number of terms upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 which is 27 then sn equals u1 times r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1 so s27 equals u1 is 16 then 2 to the power of 27 minus 1 over 2 minus 1 which is 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8, 3, 6, 3, 2. And this is number 2 answer. Please remember this one. This is the last question. It is the November 2000 HL paper 1 question. U1 over 1 minus r equals 13 and a half then u1 over 1 minus r equals 27 over 2 then u1 equals 27 over 2 times 1 minus r and then this one u1 plus u2 plus u3 equals 13 then u1 plus u2 equals u1r u3 equals u1r squared equals 13 then take out the common factor which is u1 so 1 plus r plus r squared equals 13 then u1 equals 13 over 
1 plus r plus r squared. Then u1 equals u1. So 27 over 2 times 1 minus r equals 13 over 1 plus r plus r squared. Then we can rewrite as 27 over 2 times 1 minus r times 1 plus r plus r squared equals 13. Then 27 over 2 times when we expand 1 minus r cubed equals 13 times 2 over 27 on each side. Then cross cross. 1 minus r cubed equals, make the fraction, then 26 over 27. So r cubed equals 1 over 27. So r equals 1 over 3. Then use this one. u1 equals 27 over 2 times 1 minus r, which is 1 over 3. 27 over 2 times 2 over 3 cancelled. So final answer is 9. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below and I will address them in a future video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.